OK, here we have a compound shape made of two rectangles. It says write down an expression for the area of rectangle A, and then it says show that the areas of rectangles A and B is 6x squared plus 36x minus 16. And part C, it says the total area of rectangles A and B is... The total area of rectangles A and B is 96 centimetres squared. Calculate the value of x to two decimal places. So basically, we're coming up with an expression of x for the total area of this, and then we have to put it equal to 96 to find the value of x. OK, part A. So the area of rectangle A, well, that's just going to be that length times that length, so that's going to be 5x in brackets times x plus 6 centimetres squared. Right, the area of rectangle B is going to be this length, x minus 2, times x plus 5. We need to expand that, so it's x times x plus 8, minus 2 times x plus 8. x times x is x squared, x times 8 is 8x, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, minus 2 times 8 is minus 16. So we're going to have x squared, so 8x minus 2x gives me 6x, and then we've still got that minus 16. Now, so the total area of rectangles A and B is going to be 5x times x plus 6 plus x squared plus 6x minus 16. Writing that out again. OK, so we'll just expand this bracket here. So we're going to get 5x times x, which is 5x squared. 5, 5x times 6, which is 30x. And then we've got plus x squared plus 6x minus 16. 5x plus x squared. 5x squared plus x squared is 6x squared. 30x plus 6x makes 36x. And then we've still got the minus 16. And with, this is what we're required to find in part B. Now, we know, we're told that the total area for part C, the total area is 96 centimetres squared, and we know that this represents the total area of the shape. So therefore, 6x squared plus 36x minus 16 is equal to 96. Now, this is a quadratic. To solve quadratics, you have to put them equal to 0. So we'll take 96 on both sides. So we've got 6x squared plus 36x minus 112 is equal to 0. Now we notice we have 6, 36 and 112, they're all even numbers, so we're going to divide the quadratic by 2. So that gives 3x squared plus 18x minus 56 is equal to 0. You even do 0 divided by 2, which is 0. Please don't forget that. Right, we were told to give our answer to three uh, two decimal places, so therefore that means we probably need to use the quadratic formula. So writing underneath ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, the general form of a quadratic. We can say that a is 3, b is 18, and c is minus 56. So using the quadratic formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We have that x is equal to minus 18 plus or minus the square root of 18 squared minus 4 times 3 times minus 56. Notice I've used brackets here, and particularly that's very important with this minus sign here. All divided by 2a, so all divided by 2 times 3. So we're going to have minus 18 plus or minus 18 squared, which is 324. Minus 4 times 3 times minus 56 is plus 672. So minus and a minus makes a plus. Divided by 6. So it's going to be minus 18 plus or minus, adding these two together, uh, adding 324 and 672 together, we'll get 996. All divided by 6. Now we take our calculator out. So we say either x is equal to minus 18 minus the square root of 996 divided by 6. So putting brackets in that helps us with the calculator because it makes the calculator divide the whole top numer numerator by 6. So we should get minus 8.2599, which is minus 8.26, which is just not possible because you can't have a negative x in this problem. And or 
x is equal to minus 18 plus the square root of 996 divided by 6. That gives me 2.2599, which gives me 2.26 centimetres to 2 centimetre, two decimal places. Now that's okay, because we do have one uh, term which was x minus 2, well, it means that x minus 2 would be actually 0 0.26. So that's okay, it's still positive, and all levels have to be positive. So this has been a video to show you how to find uh, form a quadratic from shapes and then solve it using the quadratic formula. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.